Hi, welcome again. This is Vic Highland. Um, this is another video about um, setting up as a teacher. Today I wanted to um, talk about a couple of things that, as I mentioned in the last video, are sort of speculative um, about the sort of future of where teaching and possibly musicianship and stuff are going. Now, over the last few years there's been a noticeable change in the way that teaching is conducted and um, when I think back to when I first started teaching it was very much a case of working things out for people so you work things out of records and teach people songs because you couldn't get access to the books and then the, book, the tab books came in and that sort of changed the way that the teaching was done. Um, certain guitar grades appeared on the scene, notably for me the RGT ones, which um, then became sort of a, the backbone syllabus for the teaching with everything else being sort of layered on that. When I first started teaching in the schools, there wasn't really any competition with regard to other guitar teachers. You were competing really with classical musicians and the rest and now of course there are lots of teachers out there um, and there aren't that many openings within the schools for that. Over the last couple of years I would say probably about the last five there's been a very anti-arts thing going on within education. So music and, and arts generally have been sort of pushed very much to the margins and the problem is with this sort of thing is although it's not implicitly or explicitly said I should say um, that you know the arts aren't important that is what eventually gets f fed through to, to parents and, and pupils in that because everything else is made out to be so special you know science, maths and, and, and everything as if, as if your life depended on it. Um, music is sort of undervalued and anybody who knows me will know that I think that probably the arts and music are some of the most valuable things that you will ever learn because they teach you aspects about the way that the mind works and how to be creative which you could take in other directions. Now the interesting thing is that within the last, as I say, within the last five years, certain terms, particularly the, the summer term, um, is so disorganised and disrupted by exams, uh, study leave and all the rest of it. Teaching within schools is a nightmare. And um, it sort of reduces potentially your work potential in those um, in those areas by half of the old term. Um, so I've been sort of thinking about this and also looking at the way things are going and I sort of stumbled across a number of books and there's obviously blogs and stuff like that not to really to do with, with art but just to generally do with the sort of more, maybe we could call them creative economics thinkers, economical thinkers. And what's coming up is that there is definitely a move, or we'll put it this way, definitely a change in the way that things are going to happen just as they have on the internet and you go oh yeah but there have been big changes I mean this is nothing to what potentially could be coming next and the first book I'd like to talk about is actually a book called Noise by Jacques Attali now this guy wrote the book back in the 1970s and he predicted the rise in recorded music and the profits to be made by that, followed by <clears throat> a 
almost a collapse in the value of recorded music, which of course has come to pass. But there was an interesting interview with him on the radio about a year ago. And he was saying that the reason that he knew this was going to happen was that it's happened before and it's the sort of general trend in economics to do with supply and demand and because of technology initially the <clears throat> the demand would outstrip the supply hence the rise of the CD um, and then as recording became easier and easier everybody would be recording and there would be so much recorded material out there and anybody would be able to record that there would be a collapse in the value which is of course what is what's happened and then he said that the only way that musicians really would be able to make any money in that sort of old-fashioned way would be to go out gigging because there is a scarcity of time which has been obviously proved to be correct now what he said following that particular thing at the end of this um, it was a BBC uh, programme was that music tends to go to places before the economy does so this interviewer said to him so are you saying that the economy is going to go through this thing of things becoming worthless and he said yes and the guy said well how do you know that and his answer was one very simple phrase which was 3D printing now if he's right, which I think he probably is, we're going to see the collapse of lots of things that we know to be normal, if you like, at the moment. Coupled with that is the rise <clears throat> of technologies that will take away jobs that are high value middle class jobs. This is not to do with Jacques Attali, this is to do with some other people. But whereas, of course, in the past, automation has taken away the work of unskilled people and semi-skilled people, the ones that felt really safe and able to make comment about needing skills and all the rest of it, um, it's now their turn because there's going to be some algorithm or robot coming after the jobs of accountants, lawyers, doctors, um, all sorts of people that would have looked at their work and thought, I'm pretty safe, it's a specialised subject. Well, not anymore. Now that presents us with an interesting dilemma that work is going to disappear very rapidly including teaching um, in, well certainly in the format that we know it um, on the internet there are things like the Khan Academy <clears throat> which schools in America are adopting very rapidly because it means they can cut their staff that could happen in this country um, and we're not really even seeing that coming so the thing is that really what I'm suggesting here is that we need to refocus what we're offering as teachers obviously there'll be work in other areas and we are going to need the ability to be creative because all the technologies that we have now are doing things that people didn't believe were possible. So we need people who can think the impossible. And art is one of the few ways that that actually happens. It's the ability to think outside the box. So <clears throat> what I'm suggesting, I don't have the answer here, um, but I'm suggesting that music could be, and the teaching of music could be incredibly powerful but it may not be in the format that we're doing currently. And I'm not and have not been convinced for quite some time 
about the validity of qualifications going forward because people vote with their feet um, qualifications are great for getting you into establishments but they don't even give you the advertising power if you like because lots of people and I know this because of speaking to people who come for lessons some people find that very intimidating going to somebody with a string of letters after their name so what I'm looking at here is what we can do that creates possibilities for the future and not so much on the old models um, although of course some of us including me have to think in the old model and the old paradigm in order to extrapolate forward um, that's just because probably I haven't got the mind of a younger person and my, a lot of my ideas are, are sort of not f so much fixed but come from a, a way of thinking so anyway there's a few points there which are worth considering um, as I mentioned Jacques Attali is worth reading uh, there are many others um, I would suggest that if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about this send me an, an email because I've got a list of websites and things that I, I haven't to hand at the moment but um, I'm building these up all the time actually so it, it might not even just be a case of me posting them at the bottom here but maybe if you send me an email I can send you some um, podcasts and things that are quite interesting that you can ever listen to anyway speak to you soon um, I will be back with some more stuff about teaching um, maybe some pointers on ways of I, although I have spoken about referrals before but structuring lessons in such a way um, that um, they make them more interesting so I'll speak to you soon bye